Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I can't see a bingo with this rack. But I've got scoring tiles in the F and the M. So I could play Foment. Which maximises score. There may be an argument for playing a shorter word, but I'm not sure there's going to be a huge difference in equity if I did. Fantastic. I draw the first blank, and this is a great set of tiles. I have Narciine in column 8, beginning with the N of Foment. That's a... Uh, that hits the triple word square. Now, do I have a four-timer through the O? Well, it looks like I may do. Anore anoretic doesn't work. Actioner does work. Great. So I've got a four-timer if that's not blocked. Sometimes playing six tiles on the opening play doesn't work out because six random tiles can be pretty ropey, but... Certainly in this case, it's it couldn't have worked out any better. Foment takes an S after it, so I've got Arsenic in column 10. And I mentioned that in case my play, opponent plays parallel to Foment above or below it, obstructing the bingos I've spotted already. Great, Narciine remains available. Now I'm wondering if there's a play which places the C on the double letter square to maximise score. And is this something I should be spending my time looking for? I don't think so. So Narciine for 80. Wow, I draw the second blank. And again, I've got decent tiles to go with it. Slightly harder to find a bingo with a duplicate I and a K, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be bingos here. I've got Kitties, which plays in column 10 and which triples the K. Now, what about row K? There's a four, a four timer available, a double double, and the C and the K have got synergy. So I have, well, I have Ickiest on my rack. Okay, well, Dickiest or any or any other alternatives like that, ending Ickiest, don't get four-timered. But I have Stickier. Great. So, to the second move in a row, I have a four-timer available. Now, what if that's blocked? Do I have something in row O, which hits the triple word square, so something beginning or ending with the E? Well, nothing that I've seen so far. Let me cycle through the alphabet while my opponent is thinking. So I'm imagining an additional E on my rack. I have, well, high tiki's through an I. So I haven't seen anything yet. Now, what about a word ending like? Sight like, not good, so I can't see anything there. This isn't proving to be particularly fruitful. But I wasn't expecting it to be so. Okay, so I can't see anything in row O, which hits the triple letter square. So at the moment I have stickier in row K as a four-timer. As well as kitties in column 10, making foments. Now I wonder if I have a play. Aha. Uh -huh. Great, my stickier spot remains available. Only 22 points for my opponent.
just pausing because of this I underneath this triple letter square. But I don't think that's massively dangerous because if the X were to go there, X U doesn't play, nor does X I, and nothing goes in front of the K, so that's not that dangerous. Stickier for 102. Well, quite a nice rack, but I think the run of bingos has ended. However, I have scoring tails in the H and the P. So I should be able to get a decent score. Hoopo onto an E, but in column 11, that doesn't get doubled. I certainly want to play off two O's. So I have Hoopla on my rack, which does actually play in row J, beginning above the eye of Stickier. That would score quite well. I'm not overly enamoured of sticking an A in the middle of column 15. Not so much for the nine-timer danger as the risk of my opponent simply getting a high scoring tile on the double letter square. I could just play who in this spot, H double O, keeping Opal for 31 points. That's pretty good. That remains available. Now my opponent scores just 10 points, which is good. I don't think the B is particularly dangerous, and he's covered the double letter square. I would need another O for Boo Hoo. I could play O Ho in column three. 25 points. Well, I'm, I can get more by playing Who here. 30 points. I can't see anything which burns two O's in row A and gets tripled. So I think I will go with who. That's pretty grim, duplicating both the L and the P. I would have pop lityl through T and D, I think. This is quite a, an irksome rack to deal with. And who has, hasn't really provided anything. It, it's provided a bingo lane in column 13, but OE only takes an S after it, so that's, it hasn't really provided anything in row L. So I'm just looking in terms of anywhere to play something. I could play... Pilau or Paoli in row L, 22 points, which would certainly sort the rack out. Now I wonder if I have anything through the B, and I think one of the reasons I didn't like this rack is that it just doesn't look like it goes well with the B. I, I don't really like that being available as a floater, although... The E of Narciine is probably a more dangerous floater. I've got Pi Bal in row A, but that doesn't get tripled. Now, do I have anything? The duplicate tiles make me disinclined to think there's a bingo, but one should always consider that possibility. So I do have a floating... N and E to consider. Well, I can't see anything there. My P can go next to the I of Narciine, but I can't then get rid of one of the L's, and I certainly do want to do that. So at the moment, I haven't seen anything great. I've seen Paoli, but that scores in the low 20s and seems to be needlessly helpful to my opponent. It's opening up a triple word square row, and it's also opening up this triple letter square 
for a five letter play scoring 40 or 50 points so I'm I don't particularly like that my opponent taking a while with this move he could be close to a bingo It would be nice to get through this rack. Now, the floating R of Jarul also available. I can't see anything with this rack. 12 points for my opponent. Not really provided anything for me. However, it's good that he's not scoring very much. Do I really have nothing through the B which gets tripled? Well, not that I've seen, so maybe I should play Paoli. 22 points. I'm far enough ahead to survive a big score from my opponent. And by playing Paoli, I am opening the board up even more so that should my opponent get a big score, there's going to be more opportunities for me to keep my score going. The only hesitation is, should I be doing this? Is there a better play? Well, not that I've seen. That's a little bit better. F and P don't go well together, but I have got an E, and this looks like a, a balanced rack. I've got bifold in row A, which would score well and sort the rack out, turn over tiles. Floppied, unfortunately, not good. Otherwise, that would be a massive score in column one. I can't see a bingo through the R. Or through the N or the E. So at the moment I've just seen by by fold. Well, I've also got flipped or flopped in column one. Thirty six points for by fold. Forty five for flopped. So this is a pretty good outcome from my previous play. A good pickup. Or takes an F, so I do have flip and flop in row at L. 34 points. So a whole bunch of options scoring in the 30s and 40s, and that's a pretty good situation to be in. T is available as a floater of foment, but I haven't seen any bingos at all with this this rack I think it's the lack of synergy between the, the F and the P which is really killing the bingo prospects I've probably got something in column 2 with the F or the P getting tripled. Well, I have fold. 36 points, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, well, hang on, I've got profiled. There is a bingo here, wow. And I've spotted it just in time. Fantastic. Yeah, profiled. Well, I should have spotted that earlier, and I didn't. However, fortunately, my opponent took a while with his play, and I found it. Not great. Oh, my opponent's resigned. Well, he was over 200 points behind. That's a shame. Only 14 minutes into the game. Anyway, so the final score is 102 
to my opponent, 332 to me, a winning margin of 230 points. So let's see what, what I missed. So it was me to go first. I played Foment. Phantom would have been better, retaining the E. My opponent plays Jarul. I have Narciine for 80. Jerry can also available for 84. Slightly better, possibly. That looks quite nice. No bingo there. Now I have a great pickup and have Stickier for 102. No bingo for my opponent. He plays Bang. I have a Tricky Rack. Wow, look at that. Who Bar available in row A. I didn't spot that. That would have been nice. Instead, I played Who for 30. Probably slightly worse. My opponent plays Allah. Good grief. There's a bingo in this rack. Papillon onto the N. Well, I was ruining ruining this rack and there was a bingo staring me in the face well done if you spotted it i didn't come remotely close to doing so i played paoli my opponent plays zin and i have profiled which took me forever to find I, and i did get there at which point my opponent resigned so that was the end of that it was a bit of a, a bingo fest it didn't last very long but i still managed to get three three bingos in and i'm Pretty sure I was heading for another massive victory. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and I will see you next time.